Hey everyone, John and he. I don't know. Shut up. <laughs> I got that visage, bro. Aki, Aki. Stop being so insecure. I'm, I'm not. I'm not gonna grab your dick. All ball right? space, fuck my guy. Have you ever heard of it? My balls are huge. God damn. Oh, this is gonna be gay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, hi everyone. Welcome to today's video. Me and Drew are actually talking about the Narragante, and we're gonna talk about like things we've learned about fi learned while fighting him, things we suggest while fighting him, and uh, our opinions on the Narragante, and how much Joy hates the Narragante. Joey, how much do you hate the Narragante? I hate him a lot. Why do you hate him so much? Because he's a fucking asshole who breaks the laws of physics in the game. Okay, so, for those of you who don't know, I'm pretty sure a lot of you probably do know. Where you're watching right now, the gameplay in the background is, uh, the Narragansi. We actually fought him, how, like, we took, like, two, three hours to kill him. I don't fucking I mean, if we're, at, if, we're, if, we're, blur. if we're adding the entire time we tried fighting him from beginning to end, it's probably five hours. Because, yeah, when we first started fighting him the first day, and then we couldn't win, and then the stream did with Roberto, and that was two hours, no, that was four hours of us fighting it. And then you and me and him got together and fought it the last, the very, the very last day. Because the game closed hours after we beat it, apparently. Fuck you. So that's, that's nutty. Um, no. so, I like the, I personally still like the Narragante. I think he gave us a really good run. Uh, I don't like certain aspects of the Narragante. Uh, for example, his hitboxing on a couple of things really pissed me off. And, like, Monster Thunder in general has a problem with hitboxes when it comes to the monsters. But this one fucking has projectiles. This one's got like uh, Pethios hitbox sometimes. Uh, the th I I think at first I thought the hitbox was because of the, you know, the spikes on his arm because he'll do an attack where he'll knock you down and he'll smash his arm to the ground. Mm -hmm. And at first I didn't I didn't mind this attack because I'm like okay so it was my fault for getting hit the first time I just avoid that attack. But then I started realizing. That even if he doesn't have the spike projectiles, because the monster, what happens with the Narragante is that he'll grow these spikes on his body, arm, both his arms, back, and tail, and wings. Uh, and any certain uh, attacks that he'll do, he grinds things, grinds things across the floor, or he'll punch things, or he'll headbutt the ground. Spikes fly outward. Mm -hmm. If you don't let the spikes build up, that's supposed to not happen. But one of the attacks specifically, the one where he smashes his fist into the fucking ground, apparently just has, has his own AoE attack that doesn't have to do with the spikes at all. Because at one point, he does his, uh, his really strong attack where he flies from the top of the air and just goes on the ground and slides all over the ground, destroying all the spikes on his body. And they start regenerating. I, I, I at one point, uh, one of the, one video, one part of the video that I didn't show off in, uh, in our video because it is when we lost. Uh, he hit me, no, I dodged the air, the air attack. And then he got up and punched the ground, even though I was far from him. He had no spikes in his arm, he still killed me. I was really far from his attack. That was nuts. And so much. Do I really hate him? Uh, another one's a head. You know his headbutt when he hits the ground. His headbutt when he hits the front of where he's hitting, like he'll hit the ground in front of him, can hit you in the back of him if you're under his feet. Yeah, and just like you know his bullshit flying move. If you're behind, like literally under him. Yeah, which is, doesn't make his sense. Tail actually hits you. No, it's not even his tail. And, and that's why I got hit with last time. The tail? Yeah, it was like. Bad. I'm like, excuse me? No, I got hit by just the air, really, because I was in, I was behind him, but I was in, uh, like he was in front of me when he dove down at you guys, and his tail was in front of me, and he dove down and it took me with him, like an air current pulled me in and hit me. It was so stupid. That's that one attack. That well, no, he's got a few attacks that are kind of bullshit with hitboxes. I was gonna hate is that when he knocks down, he goes. Huh! Uh, well, yeah, yeah, the punch attack, yeah, it's the one that always kills me too. Oh! The, the air attack, you can uh, his dive from the from I just call it the dive of, dive of death, really, because he just just does not give a fuck. He'll throw himself at you and does not even care. That shit. Um, there's a way out of it if you keep spamming the run button and just dive out of it. You'll want well, depending get, on what weapons you have. Yeah, so the depending. Boat's like, <laughs> the, the boat takes a while to put away. Yeah, the, I had the light bogan, so all like, I had the light bogan. He just went. It snaps and then you just. No, put it, it away. that's the heavy bogan. The heavy bogan goes and he goes. Uh, yeah. Yeah. That's Slowly me, putting me his back. Roberto had problems running away. For me, for happened. me, light bogan. I'm like, okay, whoop, yeah. dive. I was fine. <laughs> that's the thing I take under consideration: if, uh, which weapon has the fat like fastest, fastest put away. Put thing. away, yeah. I think the the I don't know. Sword and shield. Sword and shield. Or dual blade, sword shield. He just no. Sword and shield is this. Yeah, he just. Eh. That's it. It's, it's, it's fast as fuck. Or the dual blade. Dual blade. He just goes. Yeah. 
That's it. Done. Yeah. Done. That's it. That, that was, I don't know if you're going to see in the video, but we both did it at the same time. I know. <laughs> um, but yeah, like, Joey's playing with my knife now. He's got ADHD. I'll let him play. Just don't stab yourself. I didn't take my medication. Where's the small one? The, 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 right the shitty little knife? There you go. Have fun. It's, a, it's literally a throwing knife. Um, I don't know. Also, we, f we found out some weird things. We're trying to experiment what exactly his weaknesses are. From what I can tell, I looked up on the Wikipedia, is that his weakness on the Wikipedia, it says unknown. But I looked up other different websites. Oh, they're just tapping yourself in the eye with us. What the fuck are you doing? <laughs> um, other different um, websites will say that his main weakness is dragon, which makes sense because he's a dragon. Most yeah, because um, dragon. When you hurt him and you see those little red things in the floor, yeah. that's what I kept picking up. It says dragon, dragon, dragon something, and I shoot him and goes, oh, I'm and like, he's hey, he's weak to dragon. I think his secondary weaknesses are ice, fire, and electricity, but I'm not exactly sure. I think it was just that I know fire definitely did. Elias fire does more. The fire definitely does more spikes. damage. Yeah, when it, when his spikes are white, I think they do more damage to uh, when they're white. Uh, when they're like when he's full of spikes, I think he gets hit by electricity more. I'm not exactly sure because it's so weird. He's such a weird monster because I see the electricity doing more damage when he's covered in more spikes or if you're hitting his stomach. And when I use my uh, the switch axe, which is ice. It did overall a lot of damage too, like all the time. So I'm not sure. But you were doing it. You were fighting it by yourself, right? I was fighting it by myself, and I was fighting him with Nibiru too. With switch axe. I fucked around with a lot of stuff. Just fucking... That thing is extremely weird. It is. Uh, a, a bunch of tips I can give you guys is if you're with friends, don't spread your damage out too much. All you like if he's growing his uh the spikes on one arm, and they're white, all of you focus on that one arm. Yeah. Cause the only time he ever does the dive, the heavy dive that kills everyone in your fucking party, <laughs> is if he uh of his spikes are all black I, yeah i think all of his spikes are black except for his tail uh, yeah it, 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 i mean i see him sometimes fly up even when uh his arm isn't re uh is black. fully black okay yeah. then i still say just focus fire on the individual parts don't just uh, spread out the damage mm -hmm. like if you guys have guns all of you aim for the arm or if all you have hammers all you aim for the fucking arm don't don't spread it out like, don't have someone going for the back that's what we started doing at first we started realizing that wasn't working yeah. we had to focus fire and stuff and stop dicking around so much. Oh, and the barrels too. And yeah, he's very susceptible to explosive attacks, so do that a lot. Yeah, if you're using a bow, get an empty vial and then get the fire herbs. You mix it and then you got explosive arrows. Yeah, the explosive arrows are really, really good. But they're hard to make, yeah. No, not that. It's like sometimes the chances of it blowing up, it's very low. I thought it was just the, whole, the longer you hold it, it, it does more. No, it's... It, it depends on where I you think, shoot I think it though. depends on, uh, you know when you're when you're charging your arrow, when you uh, the circle is perfectly, like, yeah. on the icon, that's when it explodes, I think. Because if you, uh, it's like the great sword, you can't overcharge your bow. It does more damage if you wait for the circle to sync up and then shoot. I guess that makes sense, but I remember last time, like I said, I was fighting against the barrel off, and I was just... Boom! Explosion! Boom! Explosion! It, Boom! Explosion. I don't know. I uh, when the game comes out, you figure it because I know, I know you you grew a love for the bow fighting this monster. Yeah. So I never used anything except the fucking uh, insect, insect glaive. glaive, and now after fighting this monster, he has grown a huge amount of love for the bow, and I've grown a huge amount of love for the light bow gun, which is funny as fuck for me because I made fun of a lot of uh, gun weapons in Monster Hunter. All, all, no, I hated now all the weapons are good. Yeah, they're all really, all the weapons are really good now. They're fucking amazing. Ain't like, oh look, sword and shield. <laughs> no, sword and no, shield, I, I couldn't use them. I couldn't use sword and shield back yeah, in the other now games. Now it's sword and shield. It's mobile. It also has impact damage. You can move around, jump well, in the air. Well, it used to have impact damage, but now it has more attacks. More, for yeah, you have circle, boom, and it keeps smacking or whatever. So. Bah, bah, bah. It's fantastic. Uh, another thing I also noticed is. He's fucking hard as fuck to mount. He does not mount easy. Nope. You mm. gotta make sure that none of the spikes are on his back. No, I've mounted him before with the spikes on his back. Really? I think they can't be. Maybe if they're not. Bl no, I've mounted him when he has black before on his back too. I don't fucking it's know. weird. He's one of the weirdest fucking things to mount. Cause I've only like per fight, I've only mounted him once per fight. Or when I use the light bow, I never mounted him at all. And I tried multiple times with my arrow, and every single time I hit him, it's just like nope. No. Nope. Nope. Like, the, nope. The, the usual uh, thing that works for mounting animals is uh. When they're after after they're in rage mode and you calm them down, then you can just jump on their back for the most part. This guy not so much. This guy's a little weird. So I'm still trying to figure out how to mount him. Uh, I'm trying to figure out the exact time when to mount them. Yeah. So I still can't figure it out. Well, we're gonna have all the time in the world when the game comes out. I I know that I, I'm gonna go after him I'm so hard when he comes when that game comes out. 
Which, by the way, guys, the Let's Play will start on hopefully Friday. That's when the game comes out. Joe's gonna pre order. I'm gonna download it off of him and I'm gonna start getting that up by Friday, I think. And hopefully Friday, 2 p.m. Eastern Pacific Time. Let's hope, please. I want to be able to edit all that shit. I think I'm gonna do the single player by myself and then well, no shit. have, no, I mean, uh, story mode. I think you can play story mode together. I'm not sure. Well, I mean, I know the whole beginning thing. Yeah. The monster, you running around, thing attacking. Oh, the intro, yeah, it's all by yourself. Yeah. Too fun. Dumb with less. Dumb like, fucking <laughs> for honor bullshit. Yeah. Anyway. Uh, any other advice you can give? Oh, I have, actually, I have advice I can give people. What about you? You have any advice you can give people to fight this fucking thing? Well, uh, I mean, it's hard as fuck to fight him with close range weapons. Because his fucking AoE. His AoE all. is a pain in the ass, yeah, but if you... I, I mean, you, you could definitely be done with, with close Oh, yeah, range no, weapons. of course. Yeah, um, yes, 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 but, yes. like, if you're doing it with close, close range weapons, I suggest fast close range weapons. And I'm not or talking about, like... Or something that you can block. Or, so, yeah, like, uh, the charge blade for me was really good. I actually almost killed him a couple times by myself. Charge, charge blade, blade is a, it's a good marriage between, you know, offense and defense. It, does, it also helps that this charge blade in the beta is impact damage. So, you know, when he, does, when, when, when he charges the attack and smacks down, that can break his, uh, his spikes a lot easier because they're all impact damage. Plus, so that's one thing I like about the charge blade. It can be impact plus a cutting weapon. Yeah, that's... It's really, that's really cool. good. Um... And then for range, it's just... I, I... Don't use... Don't use the heavy, the heavy bow gun no. unless you guys are 100% sure how to fight the monster. If you, you, you gotta if, commit, you gotta commit to reloads and how slow you are. Mm -hmm. The light bowgun, I would say, to use that over the heavy bowgun against this monster. Unless you are a master of the heavy bowgun, stay with the light bowgun because you can reload while we're walking around. You can roll a lot better. You can slide. It's much better. Mm -hmm. uh, you can shoot pretty well while, fire, while moving around. Heavy heavy bowgun is great for damage, but it, it leaves you susceptible to getting smashed by this fucking thing. Yeah, and that thing senses weakness. It and, does. Uh, you not fighting it every he's time like, I, what every time I reload with a heavy bogan he's like I smell weakness he just turns around and goes after me it's fucking <laughs> it's like, like I smell an opportunity yeah fucking I was sitting I was playing with Roberto uh before we started uh, recording for the video a while ago and this motherfucker <laughs> oh, oh god Roberto was like all right I'm shooting I'm you know the, the cluster bombs you can shoot from the like mortar thing he was he using that to fire at the monster because he paralyzed him he's shooting at him and Roberto's like all right and I'm in, fr I'm in front of the monster. I'm using the charge, but I'm just smacking him in the face. He goes, reload. And I'm like, what's he doing? And he just jumps over <laughs> me and just lands on the brutal kills on one hit. It was fantastic. Oh, my yeah, God. The AI, uh... They're smart as fuck now. Well, I mean, now we're going to deal with the same bullshit patterns back Which in the old I'm happy about game. that because I am. Yes. And it makes it makes it for Elder Dragons to be really smart because they're older. There's they fought many hunters. So it makes sense. I'm OK yeah. with this. But uh, and if you're using the bow, just uh, stay on the move. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah. Stay on the move. I think for all everything, you stay on the move. Unless you're using like a, a, a lance is really good against this thing. And, I will say gun lance should be good against them, but I I wasn't having too much success with the gun lance. I really need to practice with it again. I've, I've been at, at practice. Honestly, that 15 minute mark was just yeah, it's, it killed us a lot too. <laughs> I know, like I said, once the game comes out, that motherfucker's gonna die. He's gonna die. You just want to really go after him for revenge. I, I'm gonna make him my bitch. I want to wear him like socks. I'm anyway, wear him a fucking drapes and shit, <laughs> fucking underwear and all that crap. Yeah. Anyway, that's today's video. If you guys enjoyed this video, please hit the like button, share it, tell us in the comments down below. If you want to see more, subscribe to the training for more. Again, remember, we will be. What are you fucking doing? No. <laughs> if you want to see more, subscribe. And remember, we're going to be starting the Let's Play on Friday. I'll also be doing a Monster Hunter unboxing um, video for the special. Is it the Collector's Edition? What's it called? I don't the, know. You the, fucking the, the one with the statue and the big old box. It's Bobby Collector's Edition. The Collector's Edition should be. That, that video will be up by hopefully Saturday. Uh, I can't make any promises because it's gonna come uh, like Friday afternoon. So yeah, hopefully that'll be up by Saturday. And for the rest of the week, I'm probably gonna be uploading stuff like uh, talking about monster, the monster beta and probably one or two God Eater videos. So if you guys want to see God Eater videos, which according to our channel, not many people want to, but hey, I'm still doing it because I need something to put up on our channel. <laughs> God Eater's trash. It really hates God Eater. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. See you guys next video. Bye! Don't forget to follow us on Twitter! Uh, Twitter's good! Yeah, Love you! I was gonna you. say something, but I forgot. What are you gonna say? I don't know, something useless. It's probably gonna be annoying. Don't worry about it. It's okay. Come on. Bye! Bye!